and welcome back to Bedtime Stories with Fee. Now tonight's story is for Rawad and Mohammed. So hello boys, thank you very much for making another great request. Did you enjoy your last story I did for you? Yes! Now we've got another good one tonight, haven't we boys? Yes! It's called Gilbert the Great. It's all about a shark called Gilbert. From the time Gilbert the Great White Shark was a tiny pup, Raymond the Ramona stuck to him like glue. Raymond was always on Gilbert's side. So this is Raymond the Ramona. Ramona is a type of fish. And they're best friends. Who's your best friend? Oh, it's nice to have a best friend, isn't it? You can tell them your secrets. You can play your favourite games. So much to do together, isn't there? When Gilbert was stuck in the seaweed, Raymond untangled him. When Gilbert got dirty, Raymond cleaned him up. And when Gilbert lost his first row of teeth, Raymond helped him collect them for the tooth fairy. Wow! What a good friend. Should we give a thumbs up to Raymond and say, well done, Raymond! Gilbert and Raymond had lots of fun. They loved to play finball, tide and seek, and sardines. They played together, they ate together, they slept together. They really are best friends doing all those special things together, aren't they? I wonder what finball is. Do you think it's a bit like football? And they use their fins? Yes, I think so. Then one day, Gilbert woke up and Raymond was gone. Mum! yelled Gilbert. I can't find Raymond. Mrs Munch checked her son over carefully. Then she put a fin around Gilbert and hugged him tightly. I'm afraid you're right, she said. Raymond has gone. Oh no, he's lost his best friend. You give me a really, really, really sad face. <laughs> Raymond was my best friend, said Gilbert. Why did he have to go? It's not fair. I guess Raymond just couldn't hold on any longer, said Mum. Ramona's can't stick around forever. She kissed Gilbert on the snout. Go play tide and seek with the pilot fish. It would take your mind off Raymond. But Gilbert couldn't help thinking about Raymond. Oh dear, it's very sad, isn't it? Perhaps Raymond will come back, Gilbert said. Raymond would come back if he could, said Mum, but he can't. Let's go and watch the basking ball. The thrashing threshers are playing the tidal tigers. Who do you think will win? Gilbert looked all around. There were Ramonas everywhere, but none of them was Raymond. I don't care, he said, and he swam off before either side scored a basket. Oh dear, looks like this is their net. They've got to shoot the ball into the net. A bit like basketball, I guess, isn't it? But for sharks. But Gilbert is not interested because he really misses his best friend. What will he do? After the game, Mum took Gilbert to the coral reef to see the clownfish. It's my fault Raymond's gone, Gilbert snapped as they passed the eel. Last week I called him a sucker. Mrs Munch smiled. Everyone falls out sometimes, she said. Raymond knew you loved him and he loved you. Now he thinks it's his fault. But it's not, is it? Sometimes we do say nasty things to our friends, don't we? But it's good to say sorry and then you can move on and be friends again, can't you? So he wouldn't have gone because of that, would he? The next day at school, everyone was very kind to Gilbert. He was allowed to play on the seesaw for as long as he wanted. Cheer up, said Mallet. There are plenty more fish in the sea. There isn't another Raymond, said Gilbert as he swished his tail and swam into the seaweed. Oh no, he's still sad. Do you think he needs to make friends with somebody else? 
And I think that would make him feel better, wouldn't it? Do you think he can find another fish to be friends with? Yeah, I think that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? They're on a seesaw, look. They're using an oar from a boat. And it's going seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. Can you do that? Seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. Gilbert was still sulking in the seaweed when Mum came to collect him from school. It's not the same without Raymond, Gilbert said. I know, said Mum. But Raymond wouldn't want you to be unhappy, would he? No, said Gilbert through a wobbly smile. I was lucky that Raymond was my best friend, Gilbert gulped. But I wish he was here now. I miss him so much. Sometimes it helps to cry, said Mum. Gilbert cried and cried and cried and his salty tears mingled with the deep, dark ocean. Sometimes when you're really sad, it is good to cry, isn't it? It starts to make you feel better. So if you're ever sad about something, you have a little cry and it might make you feel better. A cry and a cuddle. Have you got someone nearby that can give you a big cuddle? Yes! Hmm. That made you feel a little bit cosier, a little bit happier. Yeah. Mum took Gilbert gently by the fin and towed him into the shallow water. Rocked by the gentle waves, they gazed out at the vast sandy seashore and the endless blue sky. I hope Raymond's happy wherever he is, said Gilbert. I'm sure he is, said Mum. So even though he's gone, he will be happy somewhere and probably watching over Gilbert and watching all the fun that he should be having. I'm hungry, said Gilbert. We'll go to the wreck, said Mum. Gilbert's eyes lit up. They didn't usually go to the wreck. Mum didn't like him eating junk food. So going to the wreck is a bit like you going to McDonald's. Do you like McDonald's? Mm -mm -mm. Yummy. So Gilbert is very excited because he gets to chomp on all this junk food in the wreck. Scrunch, munch, crunch. Oh, he's eating lots of things. Can you get your big sharp teeth and go crunch, 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 crunch. As Gilbert was tucking into a pile of tin cans and bits of old boat, he spotted a small Ramona lurking in the shadows. Gilbert stopped crunching and swam towards her. Rita was crying as if her heart would break. Can you spot her just down here? It's another sad fish. I wonder what's wrong with her. What's the matter? Gilbert asked. It's my shark, Daphne, Rita sobbed. She's gone. So's Raymond, my Ramona said Gilbert sadly. But he's stuck in my heart. I shall never lose him there. Daphne's in my heart too. Rita smiled a wobbly smile. Gilbert took Rita's fin and together they swam out of the shadows. Do you think they might be a perfect pair now? He's missing his friend. She's missing his friend. Maybe they can be friends. That would be nice, wouldn't it? A ray of sunlight filtered through the deep blue ocean. Gilbert's teeth flashed as he grinned a huge grin. Would you like to stick around with me, Rita? Sunlight danced in Rita's eyes. I'd love to stick around with you, she said. <gasps> Can you give me the biggest smile ever? <gasps> yes! They are going to be friends. and off they go together. So that was a bit of a sad story to start with, wasn't it? Poor Gilbert losing his best friend. Sometimes we do lose people that we love very, very much, don't we? But we can keep them in our heart forever and in our head with lots of great memories. And then we can find other people to make us happy as well. Yeah. Thank you very much boys for that lovely request. I hope that you've all enjoyed it and I will see you again soon for another story. Thank you.
Bye.